Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. 549,928. That's the number of people who experienced homelessness on a single night in 2016 in the United States. While that number may seem high, it's actually a decline of 14 percent since 2010, according to HUD's 2016 Annual Homeless Assessment Report to Congress. And while the report doesn't reflect Guam, Gura Executive Director Michael Duenas says they still use the report to gauge how to address homelessness here at home. He says on average, Guam has recorded 11 to 1,200 homeless individuals. We conduct a homeless count on the last Friday in January every year. Uh, in the most recent count, we were showing a, uh, a decrease of 19 percent in terms of um, homeless individuals out on the streets, uh, unsheltered. While that's only a snapshot, it's a number they hope to decrease even more. To have a, a dip like this is good news for us, and, and we hope it does reflect a trend. Duenia says the reason for homelessness on Guam is due to economic conditions, along with individuals who are struggling with substance abuse or mental health issues, otherwise known as chronic homelessness. He says there's actually been an attitude change over the past few years. It is alarming. Um, it's not surprising. Over the years, what, what we've seen is that uh, homeless families are uh, willing to become more visible uh, out in the streets, uh, in, in public places, whereas in the past, most a lot of homeless families would try and blend in and, and not stand out. He says on a national level, HUD and Congress are targeting how to help homeless families with children. Locally, they are working with the governor's office and other agencies to identify services. They include the Guam Homeless Coalition, Public Health, the Salvation Army, and Catholic Social Services. He says while partners do periodic outreach to families in the streets, it's not always effective. It's not an easy process. Some families um, and some individuals or families are uh, reluctant to, to come in from the cold, so to speak. And so it's a, it's a uh, an outreach that has to occur over uh, as much as a year, year and a half before they can say, okay, I'll, I'll take what you're offering me. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.